The Arab League is expected to call on the UN Security Council to pass a resolution creating a joint peacekeeping force for Syria. The group also wants more international support for the opposition and hopes to pile further pressure on the regime. Well, we hope to get uh, some reaction from Cairo a little later on the latest developments concerning the Arab League's meetings there. But in the meantime, let's now cross live to London and talk to author and journalist Afshin Ratansi. Afshin, with the Arab League uh, now looking very likely to be calling for a joint UN peacekeeping mission, foreign intervention is inevitable now, isn't it? One bunch of dictators talking about another dictator. Uh, I think uh, the Arab League is being used presumably as some kind of proxy because we know that the United States and the European Union uh, have all but said uh, military intervention uh, could happen, should happen. Some sources even saying British uh, special forces already in the ground. So maybe there is already foreign intervention. We know there is some kinds of foreign intervention, though. But it's there under the guise of a peacekeeping mission. Wouldn't it create peace and therefore create an environment for negotiations? Look, I think, Bill, there is a role for the UN if it can get past its uh, paymasters, as it were. On Monday, the uh, human rights chief is delivering uh, a talk about human rights at the UN General Assembly. This is uh, carefully timed as other, uh, other announcements have been timed. The UN could have a role. I mean, uh, we have heard about al-Qaeda's uh, Al-Qaeda in Syria now. And uh, if one could police the guns and weapons going into Syria now, that would be a great thing the UN could do, although those borders are notorious. I hear that uh, AK-47s were only 150 to $200 a, a gun uh, in uh, Iraq uh, a few months ago. They're now one and a half to $2,000 a gun, which shows the demand for weapons by these uh, Al-Qaeda-type insurgents going to support uh, American and British interests in Syria. Well, there's much questioning over the makeup of the opposition. You've just mentioned Al-Qaeda. In effect, are we not seeing um, Washington and its allies actually supporting Al-Qaeda there, in effect? Yes, once again, uh, the United States and European Union states, as usual, supporting Al-Qaeda as they did in Afghanistan prior to 9-11. Will they never learn? It is uh, shocking to hear uh, American uh, statesmen like, um, I don't know, John McCain calling for intervention, presumably U.S. troops and Al-Qaeda side by side fighting against President Assad of Syria. This uh, really shows up what exactly uh, the Americans are up to. They are not. Uh, protecting the uh, interests of uh, U.S. citizens and nor European Union leaders. Zawahiri's statement to uh, back uh, any armed attacks we saw with lethal consequence in Aleppo, 28 dead, in December, 44 dead in Damascus. Uh, this is, uh, this is uh, getting out of hand. This is getting dangerous. Let's hope that uh, Turkey, uh, which uh, refused to uh, operate a corridor sanitaire, as could have happened, they see sense, countries like Turkey and, uh, and of course, Qatar, using soft power at the moment to great effect to, to give a distorted view of what's happening in Syria today. Talking about the effectiveness of the UN Security Council, a week ago a resolution was vetoed there over concerns of impartiality. We're now seeing the Friends of Syria group forming, which includes the US and its EU allies. Is this in fact a way of bypassing the UN and international law to push forward the agenda from the West's point of view? What an incredibly uh, dangerous group the Friends of Syria will be. Presumably we'll have uh, Hillary Clinton and uh, the British Foreign Secretary, the F EU uh, Foreign Secretaries and, uh, I don't know, Mr. Zawahiri himself, all, in, uh, all meeting together as Friends of Syria. This is a, a determined attempt at uh, hegemonic power. It is, um, it is, I think, going to fail because uh, uh, perhaps President Obama in an election year, even his policy advisors are telling him this could rapidly spiral out of control. And one only has to see that President Assad, uh, from where he uh, sits, uh, can see that his allies, Iraq, Iran, Lebanon, uh, these countries, uh, they'll trade with Syria, so there's not going to be any sanctions. But what uh, is Saudi Arabia uh, up to? What is Qatar up to? Um, it's a real test to the United Nations. It's rapidly getting more and more serious. Yes, it's interesting. You mentioned uh, the allies of Syria. Some analysts we've talked to believe that Washington actually wants to use this conflict, along with the Arab and uh, other NATO allies, to, as a means of targeting Iran and Hezbollah in Lebanon. Um, you see this clearly as an implication here? It's obviously reverberating in the background all the time. There are reports now that uh, 
television studios like ABC News, the uh, graphics rooms are already preparing uh, graphics and so forth and training their senior correspondents to uh, uh, cover a war against Iran. I think, uh, I think at the moment uh, what seems likely to happen is that people will start to back down from this, but um, just, just, certainly uh, U.S. foreign policy. Mm. Just, just very briefly, Afshin, would we see, though, Iran actively getting physically involved in Syria itself if we saw foreign intervention, just briefly, from NATO's and the West allies yeah. and Arab allies, just briefly? There, there have been erroneous reports uh, that Iran is sending in... Uh, people into Syria. It certainly isn't getting involved in that way at the moment. In fact, Iran has made critical statements against the Assad regime as to how it has been uh, treating its people and too slow to reform. So uh, I don't think Iran, uh, before any full-scale war, would get involved. But of course, if uh, there really was a, uh, a military attack on Syria, we can expect to see uh, widespread, uh, widespread disaster in the Middle East and blowback in the United States. Al-Qaeda must be thinking, well, we'll follow again. We'll work with the U.S. yet again. And uh, who knows, in a couple of years' time, another 9-11 and America will learn again what Al-Qaeda and what Sunni extremism and Salafism means. Afshin, we'll be talking about this again, no doubt, in the near future. Thank you in the meantime for your thoughts there live in London. Afshin Ratansi joining me. Well, now we